Hello everyone, welcome back to the Foxtag YouTube channel. This time, as you can see, we have a Mac computer in front of us, and this is going to be the topic for today's video. Basically, I'm going to show you how you can screen record on your MacBook, but without the QuickTime. As you know, QuickTime is an app which is built in and pre-installed. It's going to be in the side of this folder, most likely, and using this, you can pretty much go ahead and start a screen recording pretty easily. But I'm going to show you how you can do that even without opening up the app or without using it at all. Okay, so the easiest method as you are on the home screen or wherever you happen to be is using this shortcut. So you're going to use or click on command shift and five. You're going to get to this section where you can take a screenshot. So at the bottom, you have multiple options. You have the X right there. So anyways, you can see I can capture entire screen, capture selected window or selected portion. Now this applies this year is for the screenshot. But on the right, you can see I can record entire screen or record selected portion. So as I'm already here I can actually go ahead and tap on the record right here and my screen recording is going to begin and that is all without actually opening up the QuickTime app it's all using a shortcut from anywhere so yeah you have even more options to decide where it's going to be stored so it's going to be in the desktop docu documents or whatever or in the QuickTime player so you basically still use it but the important part is that you don't even have to open it up because you can use the shortcut by the way guys if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps you have to click the link down below in the description it's a hundred percent free education platform where I publish like video editing courses there is going to be the all app Apps Explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. But this was just the first method. Instead of that, you also have some other apps and other software programs to do so. Now, it doesn't mean that I would necessarily recommend you to do it. But if you open it up and open up the App Store like this, you can see that it's going to fire up and you can just search up screen recorder like this and uh, there are going to be many apps which are going to pop up to you so for example du recorder screen recorder it's a third body app which claims to be easy to use a screen recorder so you can always go ahead and install that you can literally just tap on it get it install it for free i'm pretty sure there are going to be some in-app purchases or something there available but using this app you are supposed to be able to record your screen and perhaps even stream that's just one example but as you can see you have some others and many more for example you have this one but it just looks kind of outdated it has the older wallpaper behind it so i'm not sure if i actually would use any third party app because, I mean, QuickTime isn't really that bad. It gets the job done. It's always there. You don't even have to install it. But you have some options available in the App Store. And if not in App Store, you can always just search the same stuff in your web browser as well. So screen recorder for a Mac. And if I look it up like this, you can see that there are multiple apps which are even like sponsored, some ads. You can see that you, here is the tutorial, but you can also download some third party apps. So you can see many different things, bunch of different software options. So yeah, it's up to you to decide if you really want to do it that way. But I will tell you just to use the built in feature. I don't see a reason why you should skip it or why it's really that bad. So yeah, I would use that, but you also have other options, as I said downloading an app through the app store or through a browser which claims to have the options to screen record so yeah that's about it i'm gonna wrap up this video right now thank you very much for watching hope you found this video useful if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up but definitely subscribe down below to the fox tech so you don't want to miss future videos like this one thanks all for watching see you guys later